All right, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is VMP here. Welcome back to another episode in the adventures of Sven Off the Mountain. The time has finally come. The moment, the day we've been waiting for, for what? Two, three months that this series has been happening? Today is the day of revolution. The day Sven Off finally gets a crown to put on his head and a throne of his own to sit on to overthrow Ragavan and become the king in the north. It's a big day. I've been doing a lot of work to set up for this. Uh, it's why this episode took about a week to come out. It's always funny seeing you guys. Like, I don't upload for, like, you know, a week. Honestly, I think it was, like, five days into not uploading. Oh, he's gone. He's gone another two years. <laughs> We're never going to see him again. Nah, I was putting to work for this. I have probably spent about 10 to 12 hours grinding uh, this between episodes. Let me, uh... Let me show you what we've been up to. So first things first. We uh, kept on working with our smithing a little bit. And finally unlocked the final perk. Legendary Smith. So, as of right now, all of the weapons that we create have a 5% chance to be legendary. Which increases every single stat on the weapon except for length, I believe. Not only that. Pretty much every single hero in our party leveled up because of the intense smithing grind that we were doing. And I'll show you what exactly we were uh, working on. But none more than our new sister who just joined our party at the end of last episode, Alishka. Look at her stats. She's only a level 8, but she has maxed out focus on smithing, engineering, medic, and pretty decent focus points already on athletics, one-handed, and throwing. And, uh... I'm not going to lie, we've been spoiling our sister a little bit. Let me show you what gear we got her. If we, I think right over here, yeah. Look at this. She actually looks pretty beastly already. And uh, she deserves it because she is a goddamn savant, man. To, at level 8, already have maxed out intelligence and have maxed out medicine and engineer, she's going to be a beast. So already, I've had, wait, let me double check and make sure I actually have her on the right. Oh, I don't. Okay. So, unfortunately, while Svenolf can do all the roles if we wanted him to, your heroes can only do one role at a time. So, otherwise, I would have made her, like, <laughs> number one surgeon, engineer, scout, quartermaster, all, all the above. Unfortunately, she can only do one at a time. So, we are going to have her, on default, be our surgeon, unless we're about to get into a siege, in which case we'll switch her over to engineer. Um, hopefully, that isn't too bad. Maybe at some point, as more of our children grow up, um, we'll spec each of them into just one specific thing. That way we don't have to worry about this. But for right now, that's what we're going to have her doing. And um, she hasn't gotten too much experience with Surgeon yet. But uh, something tells me the amount of combat we're going to get into this episode is going to change that quite rapidly. But yeah, she is she's just so damn good already. Um, so, what were we doing on the smithing grind, you ask? Oh, I'm glad you asked that. <laughs> Let me show you. So... At the end of last episode, we had maxed out all the parts for two-handed swords, right? So that's 250 parts I had to unlock. But I saw a few of you guys leave comments saying, Hey, why don't you do that for two-handed axes? So that way you can build the god axe. I was like, oh, that's a good idea. So I did that. We have every single axe part unlocked for two-handed axes. And then I was like, oh, I mean, we also use javelins. Let's do that for javelins too. And what do you know? Here we have... Every single maxed out part. There's actually not that many. Javelin didn't take too long. I'm not going to lie. But you know what did take a long time? One-handed swords. 400 parts. So in total, that's well over 500 parts that I've unlocked since last episode. That is double the grind to max out two-handed swords. And that took multiple episodes. So when I say I put in like 10 hours of grinding, I mean it. I was, I was working to get us ready. On top of that, you may have already noticed... We're sitting on 1.3 million dinars, and honestly, that isn't even that much compared to how fast we can make money right now if we decide to focus on it. Svenoff has a goddamn war chest, um, and plenty of different crafted weapons that, honestly, the shops around us don't even have enough money to buy. They can't even afford Svenoff's goods. So we're in a very good place there. So let me show you what we had built. Actually, I'm going to build a few more. Give me one sec to actually assemble the parts. So the first thing here are these javelins. Absolute maxed out the best parts in every category. Um, these things are disgustingly powerful. 
Look at this. Missile pierce damage of 141. This is, for those of you who watch Game of Thrones, this is the javelin that the Night King used to snipe a dragon from about a kilometer away. This is what he threw. These things are insane. They come in stacks of five, which is the highest they can come in. And they just, they one-tap anything they touch. And half the time, they send guys cartwheeling like 20 feet whenever they land. It's, it's disgusting. So we're going to make, um, we have a couple already. We're going to make a few more. These are actually really cheap. They only take three of the fine steel. And they sell for like 26k. Um... It's not quite the most efficient. I've discovered a few very efficient money makers, um, but it's damn close. So these I'm going to be calling Cloud Piercers. Or just mm, Cloud Piercer. Let's just do Cloud Piercer. There we go. So I made a couple of them already, but I accidentally named them Sky Piercer. But we already have Sky Fall. So it seemed a little cheap. So I think we're going to call them Cloud Piercer. I like that name a little bit better. So let me craft a few more of these. And now let me show you the op one-handed sword this is it's it, this might be the god sword for one-handed swords this is uh, a little baby i like to call oath keeper i've already crafted a few of these and i actually got really lucky we have a masterwork one already not legendary but a masterwork one that i believe apollonia i think i gave that to apollonia our wife these swords are disgustingly powerful almost a hundred swing cut damage but maintaining a massive weapon reach of 104. Very good for... Wait, hold on. This isn't right. Oh, there we go. Okay, I didn't have that. Okay. There we go. That's more like it. I was looking at this. I was like, that's not almost 100. Here are the real stats. 100 swing cut damage just about. Actually, when we craft it, it will go up to 100. Very good handling and swing speed. And 113 weapon reach on a one-handed sword is nutty. These things are great. And uh, lore-wise, I'm thinking we're going to give this to all of our companions and anyone willing to swear fealty to Svenolf and his new kingdom. That's what I'm thinking. So yeah, let me craft one of these. Oh! Oh, hold up. We got something there. Is this... This might be Masterwork again. Interesting. This is something. I think this might be another Masterwork Oathkeeper. Legendary, I'm pretty sure you get bonuses in every single stat. So I don't think we quite got that. But this is very nice. Plus three swing speed is disgusting. That is really, really good for a sword. That's more important than the swing cut damage. These things will one-tap just about anybody as is. But this one is just that much faster. Beautiful. All right. So, last but not least are the, uh, the two-handed axes. I have bad news to report. Um, let me see. Where are my two-handed axes? Do I have them? Yes. Okay. Allow me to show you our options. So this is the default avalanche that we had. Um, unfortunately, as it turns out, avalanche is pretty much already the best axe in the game. Like, out of all the parts that were unlocked, you can't get one that does as much damage, has as much length, and swings as fast, and has the same handling. It's So I used the exact same parts, and because we have a smithing perk, I was able to make an avalanche that is the exact same, except with two more damage. But that felt kind of cheap. So I spent a whole bunch of time crafting, min-maxing min the different parts. I was eventually able to come up with this baby, Avalanche 2. Now this thing right here, same swing speed and handling. A little more damage, seven more length. Avalanche 2 is disgusting on horseback. This thing is so good. It hits enemies from a mile away. We'll have to show you. So, between that and then our cloud piercers that we have. Hold up. Why are my cloud piercers worth less than... Oh, no. They're worth... Why? Are... Wait. Why is the worth slightly different on these? This one has 28 missile speed? Why? Oh, did I not... Hold up. Yeah, wait. I have no idea what's going on with this. Uh, we will take the best one, though. Thank you very much. Yeah, definitely going to have to show that off. And let me give this to... Shoot, who do I want to give this to? Probably Apollonia, because we know she's going to be... No, she needs a shield. Oh, Alishka, that's who we're going to give it to. Nozon, we're about to make a vassal this episode, so we don't want to give him anything really good. But we will give two of these to Alishka. Bro, look at those. <laughs> Even the scabbers, they look clean. Oh, that looks so good. 
All right, let's go ahead and let me let me make a few more final uh, adjustments to get ready. But we are going to declare revolution in just a moment. Okay, so this actually changes things. This is very good. So the kingdom of Sturgia is actually at peace right now, and uh, I've been stockpiling a bunch of influence so that. Because influence gets set to zero as soon as we uh, as soon as we leave. So my goal was to use what influence we had to cause as much chaos, so as much havoc in the empire before we left. However, it looks like they're already going to start doing that. So people, oh yep, everybody's itching to declare war on the Vlandians. That works out just fine for us. Normally we'd be worried because we're right on the border with Vlandia, um, but we're not going to have to worry about that for too long. So. Here is the plan. If we go over to the clan section, we can see all the influence from all the clans. And we have more than second and third place combined. And a lot of the other clans here don't have a whole lot. Most of them are under 100. So, I want to drain all of their influence by making them vote on useless policies. At which point, because we're going to be the only clan with meaningful influence... We can essentially cause the realm to be at war with two, maybe three kingdoms at once. And then, then we rebel and they're going to be way too busy fighting off a three front war than to actually deal with us. That is the plan. That, that is the hope. So let me look through the policies here. Essentially what we want is something with... Um... Something that's below 50%, but is, like, decently high. Like, something in, like, the 30s. Because that means you're going to have a lot of lords voting for yes and for no on both sides. Okay. Well, if we could... Alright, why are all these things so popular and they haven't been voted on, huh? Land grants for veterans? Jesus, 0%. It really tells you the state of politics today, am I right? <laughs> oh, here we go, here we go. Uh, royal privilege uh, for kingdom decisions to influence cost of the ruler overriding the popular decision. Outcome is reduced by 20%. I'm going to guess Ragavan would really like that. Uh, Alright, so this costs us only 50 influence to propose. Beautiful. Oh my god, that is perfect. Look at this. So, this only costs us 50 influence to propose this. Ragavan dropped 105 influence on it, plus Tovir for 20. And then, oh my god. What is that? Is that 162 on this side? So we only spent 50 influence. These guys spent a collective, what, 280? Something like that? Holy. And the best part is, it's going to get rejected, and we can immediately vote on it again and drain another 180 or whatever it was. No, 280, wasn't it? Okay. It's a little bit less as more lords start to run out of influence. We'll see this number drop off. So there's already one less lord. But it's still not enough to switch the tide. Ragavan's still dropping 105 influence per vote. We can do this all day. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, sh I didn't click. No. <laughs> Whoops. Um, okay, that shouldn't be too big of a deal. I don't know what we just approved. But, uh, I mean, it drained a little bit. All right, that wasn't great. What was uh, royal privilege? Yeah. All right, my bad. Okay. See, we there's already a bunch of lords that are dropping off here. Now there's only four on the no side. It's actually getting pretty close. Um, Ragvan has dropped another 105. He can't. I think he can only do that one more time. What is he down to already? 230. Okay, he can do it twice more. It's not much. Not much. And it only costs 150 for us to propose a war. I think. Yeah. So even though all these wars have a support of zero, no one is going to have the influence to oppose us. This is so good. Oh, this is so good. Another one. Beautiful. Another 105 down. And we just have to do that one more time. And we'll still have enough. Oh, shit. It actually got passed. That's awkward. Uh, what else is... Ooh, this one's 45%. Um, yeah, let's try this. What does this do? Oh my god, hello. Alright. A lot of people have uh, opinions on this one. Holy shit, they spent a ton. Alright, sorry Ragman, he just spent a whole bunch of money on that as well. 
All right, what are we looking at now? Look at this. All these guys are drained. They have essentially nothing. Kulaving still has a decent amount. And Ragavan still has... Actually, no. He's just... His... Uh, when he like goes all out, it costs him 105. So he actually doesn't have enough anymore. Let's try to do maybe one more. Because we don't have enough for 600 anyways. Let's try to do one more. Wait, hold on. Let me think about this. No, we probably actually shouldn't do that. Hmm. Hmm. No, let's try to keep draining them, I think. All right, let's try this one. All right, Ragman with 42, you with however many that is. Okay. That wasn't quite as good. Maybe we try now. Let's let's see if we can declare another war. Okay. I think we want... Cusades would be nice. They're very powerful, and that would distract their armies and put them on the complete other side of the map. Let's try this. Oh, okay. If we drop a 150... Oh, it's, it becomes a 50-50. Is that enough? Come on. Come on. Let's go! Okay. That's big. And we just drained more from them. That's perfect. I think we attempt one more now. So, okay. Cusate, Vlandia, and probably either Northern or Western Empire. Western Empire. Yeah. Okay, let's do that. Oh, shit. I'll be honest. I thought I... Ooh, it's going to be close. Oh, it goes to us. Tiebreaker goes to us because uh, Ragavan loves us so much. He's probably thinking like, damn, uh, Svenoff, I don't know if we can handle a three-front war, but... Shit, you're a beast. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. We got it. And we're immediately about to backstab him. Okay, that worked out super well. So now, Kingdom of Sturgia is at war on all fronts. Vlandia, Western Empire, and the Kurgits. This is fantastic. This is wonderful. And on top of that, I wasn't even thinking. Because all of the clans have their influence drained, no one's going to be able to call armies. So we're not even going to have to worry about them sending in big armies to siege us. This, oh my god, that went so well. Okay. I think we're just about ready now. Let me go ahead and check out our garrison here. This is what we're rocking with. 154, 63 Batanian Fions. Champions. Um, 30 of the uh, top tier uh, infantry units from the regular line, not the nobles. A good amount of uh, Drusinic champions and some more Variag veterans coming up along the way. This is a pretty beefy army. And we've got more in reserve. If we ever get wiped, we can come back and pick them up. So I'm not too concerned about that. Alright. Yeah, let me just... Let's do one last check around. I think we're ready... I think we're ready to declare rebellion. Okay, yep. I knew I forgot something. Ooh, where... Actually, where is he? A Fainus. We need to give him the new masterwork. Where the fuck to go? There it is. The new masterwork Oathkeeper. That is a big upgrade over your rusty iron spathe. Oh, a Fainus. You've been using this this whole time? <laughs> From 45 cut damage to to 95. Yeah, that's uh, that's a slight up. Wait, why is this one only 95? Is that right? I thought these things did 100. Did I fuck up the, uh... I think I fucked up making this again. I keep on doing that. I, every time you go to recraft it, you need to remember to max the blade size out again. Yeah, because the length's only 113. I swear that's different from the other ones. Isn't it? I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. That's what all of them are? Huh. Okay. I don't know. I'm tripping. Alright, but anyways. Still, big upgrade for you. There you go, champ. And then, oh, last but not least, need to remember to give our wife a shield. It's the best shield money can buy. Jesus Christ, I just saw 71k pop up and I was like, what's the second best shield money can buy? <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Boy, a 10,000 dinar shield? I, I feel like I'm being extorted here, but only the best for our wife. Only the best. Uh, that actually allows us to sell off one of these... Uh, Outdated sky piercers, not nearly as good as our cloud piercers. 
Um, there we go. Now they actually pay us. Oh, wait, never mind. That is not enough. Um, Jesus. Give it, wait, give it back. <laughs> just, just give it back. You guys can't afford my wares. Um, they should actually be able to afford a few of these, though. Yeah. That's good enough. 96. And then tell you what, let's stock up on um, all of the food, the different types of food. Plenty of beer for the troops, some date fruit even. We're treating them good. All right, there we go. Beautiful. I think it's time. Let's do this. Leave kingdom. And keep all holdings. I love how Ragman... <laughs> that poor guy. He's like, oh, finally our, our, our resident champion who's been holed away in his town for the last two years. Only smithing and doing weird stuff. He finally comes out. He's going to fight for us again. He wants us to fight three different factions, which I don't know if we can take, but with him at our side, maybe. And then it's like, oh, nope. That army that, that we've been training up, all the all these god-tier weapons we've been making, they're, uh, yeah, they're not for you, Ragavan. They're for us. Beautiful. Okay, wow, these are a lot of negative... Oh, these are the mercenaries. Okay, that's why it's so negative. All right, that makes sense. That makes sense. The Denord has left the Sturgeons. So, officially, we're not a kingdom yet. What we have to do now, go to Beneseth, talk to her, to make it official. It is time to take a momentous step. It is time to proclaim a new kingdom. I am at your command. The language of our documents and our customary laws, what should we use? The language and laws of the Sturgeons, of course. Alright, a kingdom using Sturgeon law would institute the following. Law speakers and precarious land tenure. I have no idea what that means, but sure, sounds good. And what will it be called? The kingdom. It will be called the kingdom of the Nords. Yes. May the kingdom of the Nords forever be victorious. So it shall be. Oh, we get a cinematic. Yes. On the 21st day of spring 1089, Svenoff declared the creation of a new realm, the Kingdom of the Nords. Oh, this is nice. We got, this is like one of the Game of Thrones maps that they have. Except ours doesn't cover like an entire floor. We need, we need a bigger map. But this is how we're plotting to conquer all of Calradia. I love it. Got the gang together. Oh man, I love these cinematics. They're really cool. Beautiful. All right. Now that being said, we are now kind of alone and at risk. Batania and Vlandia are going to be eyeing our territory quite closely. I think in the immediate future, we need to... We need to really think carefully about this. This episode and next episode are going to be the most important for determining the future of our kingdom. If we make a few wrong steps here, we could get crushed and lose everything quite easily. I think it might be the move, if Batania especially declares war on us, to try to capture some of their vassals very quickly and peace them out, even if we have to pay them tribute to do so. We cannot stand up against several Batanian armies coming in. They are the one people that I'm afraid in siege defenses against. Their Batanian fions will eat us alive and cut down our numbers. Vlandians, I'm not as concerned about, but we should also try to peace them out. Um... We have tons of money. I'm willing to spend it so long as we just get to focus on Sturgia. That is our main concern. Um, you know what? We should actually promote some of our clan members and give them their own parties of, and armies to, uh, to lead right now. We can't make them lords quite yet because that takes a bunch of influence, but we can give them parties. Yeah, give me a sec. Let me do that. All right, so... Who we can have up to three of them lead their own parties. I think we're going to do Nozon, Aphanus, and Luliza. I want to keep Udris because he's pretty decent uh, as a captain. So yeah, let's start off with Nozon, brother. Um, let's see, we can give him about uh, 50 to 60 each. Let's. Uh, I especially want Nozon to be successful, so let's give him some of the better units that we have here. I'm not, I'm not giving them anything too crazy. He can actually hold up to 95. That's pretty decent. 50. How much do I have left? I've got plenty. 
Yeah, let's get him up to um, 60. There we go. And so he can hold up to 95. That's really not too bad. Beautiful. Off you go. Uh, Aphanus, next up. 45. I'll give you that. 50. And that's still... Split the difference. But I'm not going to lie. Liliza, you're kind of getting the uh, short end of the stick here. Um, <laughs> you're getting entirely volunteers and recruits. Uh, good luck with that. Good luck with that. <laughs> But all right, they they should run around and continue recruiting and a training. Holy shit! Wait, it says no line can hold up to 135. Oh my, that's that's pretty decent. We can hold up to 174. Hello. Wait, really? I didn't. I thought it said 150. Oh wait, now that we're king, does it go up? It does go up. Awesome. All right, 174. I'm thinking 60 fiance. Whoops, that's 80. 60 Fions. Let's go uh, like 25 Drusenix. Let's do 30. Yeah, we can do 30. Uh, let's start off with like 25 of each of these. And then give me some units that I can kind of level up. Well, we'll take some heroic line breakers too. They're pretty nice. Um, yeah, where are... Here we go. Yeah, our veterans, Variags. Do we have any Otrox? Not many. So I'm you we'll leave the Fions for the time being. Beautiful. All right, this is a pretty good loadout, I think. This is pretty good. That's a beefy front line. Very beefy front line. I like it. And we still have enough that we, if we come back, we can put together a half-decent army. And you got to remember, we have, uh, we have forces at all of our other castles. All right, I think we're ready to go. So... Once again, number one priority right now, capture some heads of household from Sturgia and try to convince them to join us. These guys are some little mercenaries. These are the Gilman guys. Not worried about them at all. Not worried about them at all. We're going to run over here. It would also be nice to get a decent amount of influence because w before we start getting... Uh, before we start getting other clans in here, we can actually enact... All the policies that we want. The best ones for us. Yeah. Oh my god. Tier 5 plus clans lose one influence per day. And the party size with their leaders is increased by 40. Hmm. That would be nice. We could carry an extra 40. One influence a day. I mean, that's not awful. Yeah. I mean, we don't have 50 influence yet. But that will be something I need to look at uh, as soon as we have a decent amount. Alright. Let's go over here. And let's hunt. There's a few of them that I know by name, like Vishorki and Uruk. Or maybe we can just capture uh, Ragavad and uh, call it a day there. <laughs> uh, that's unlikely. Uh, Fredicard, who are you? Okay, another mercenary. Um, I'm trying to think whether it's worth us capturing these mercenaries or not. No fucking way. I was joking. Ragavan just happens to be walking right here. <laughs> oh my god. Is he not going to run away? Does he not see us yet? What is... Uh, hold on. What is he rocking with? Alright, he's got a lot of heavy axemen. I'll give him that much. Um, Only three Druzinic champions? Seven regular Druzinics? That's not that many. He barely has any ranged force at all. I mean, I think this is a... This is a winnable fight for us. Oh, now he sees us. Yeah, hey, what's going on, Ragavan? No, let's just settle this war right here. You and me. Who deserves to be the ruler of the Sturgeons? Oh, he's gonna get away, you fucker. Get back here. Yeah, go ahead and run in your castle, Ragavad. I'm coming for you. Maybe if we, uh... If we, like, sit outside? <laughs> we can ambush him? No, no, no. We can't waste time on that. The only downside is we don't quite have the numbers to really do sieges as of right now. Maybe once our guys uh, beef up a little bit. It'll be different. Um, well, shit, now that I say that, look at Cranorod Castle. Holy shit. That's winnable. I'm going to call him right now, I think. Yeah. Come on over here. This is a winnable fight right here, right now. Vidar, you can go ahead and fuck off. Um, okay, before we do this, we go to Clan... We go to 
here. I want you being our engineer at this moment. She doesn't have any... Or she, no, she does have one perk. Uh, faster siege engine build speed. Okay. Let's go ahead and besiege the castle. They shouldn't be able to call an army to stop us. And I'm not afraid of any of them individually. Our boys will start... Look at how tiny most of them are. I mean, they don't stand a chance. Alright, there comes a Fainus. Nice. Two f okay. Yeah, you're gonna fight us now? I welcome you. Come. Bring it, baby. Let's go. Big fight to start this rebellion off. I'm down. I'm so fucking down for this. My friend, my heart is glad to see you. Art, is it? You're a rebel and a traitor. All right, a little bipolar there, Ragavad. But somehow I still can't bring myself to hate you. Uh, yeah, actually, I think you're the one who ought to surrender. Bah. Parley's over. All right, what do you got? 330? I'm not afraid. You got the Brotherhood here. They're... I think they're kind of trash for the most part. Uh, Vidar, what do you have? Oh, Vidar's got some good units. Oh, shit. Ten Druzinic champions? This actually might be a decent fight here. And Aphanus has a bunch of scrubs, as we know. So this is really just us against them. Alright, let's do it. Let's do it, baby. If we win this here, we capture Ragavan and Vidar straight off the bat. That would be huge. And because then we also... Should be able to lock down this siege and take our first castle from them as well. And I want to... Is this Uthalame that... I want to say this castle belongs to Ragavan too. I think that's why he came so fast. It's a common problem amongst men of his age. Um, sorry, wait, what? <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, what is this map? Where are they at? Okay, they're all the way over there. So we do have time... Let me hold up, can I... Okay, we have time to take this hill at least. We can station up on this hill. That should be good. Uh, ew, what are the... Alright, give me one sec to deal with our formations. Alright, here we go. That's a little bit better. Um, I don't know if, it, if any of you guys know how to... What I would like to do is make a formation that has all of our infantry and cavalry combined. But that just does not seem to be an option here from the drop down. And I can't, can't scroll or anything. Like, you can do cavalry and horse archer. You can do infantry and archer. But you can't do infantry and cavalry. Because that's what I would like. Because then I could just have everybody under Svenolf's uh, command getting all of the uh, all of his perks and his banner. Yeah. Eh. Oh well. It is what it is. Uh, okay. Are we good here? I think we're good to go. Oh wait. What is this? I never even investigated this. What the fuck? I don't. I don't know what that is. I don't. I don't think that makes too big of a difference. Um, okay, so let's see here. We are going to go ahead. Oh boy, we, I mean, we got we got a fucking infantry force here. Um, archers, go ahead and do spread. Um, you guys just go ahead and do that for right now. I'm going to have you dismount right away. We'll have our archers up close because I'm going to have them sprint over there as soon as the battle starts. Same with these guys. All right, we should be good to go. Okay, you guys go ahead and dismount. Soldier! Everybody, Soldiers! everybody, just start Soldiers! walking this way. I'll sort out where exactly I want you. All right, they're a ways away, 300 meters. We got some time. Okay, yeah, come right up over here. Yeah, this is beautiful. Soldiers! I like this. Move out! Archers right here. Warriors. Uh. Get Soldiers. Our infantry, our cavalry, right there. What are they rocking with? 82 range. They don't have that many cavalry. And honestly, our lines are so thick. If they try to charge us, they're just going to get stuck and killed. So I'm not too worried about that. There we go. Be Look at... Oh my god. This is a goddamn squad of Batanian Fions. Oh, that's sick. Oh, this is a big... This is the biggest battle that we've led that are... Th these are all our troops. We're not taking part in someone else's battle with their army. This is our army. Are they... They're charging straight at us. Holy shit. Make a shield, wall. shield wall? Uh, right? Yeah, right about there. I need you guys to hurry up and get here. Damn, they're charging right fucking in. No, no foreplay or nothing? We're just... Y'all are that confident, huh? Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Let me, let me show you... Let me show you Avalanche 2.0. Hits a little different. Shield wall, you guys fill out the right flank. Yeah, we'll see what you guys want to do about it, huh? Oh, fuck me. There's a lot of them. 
There's a lot of them here. I need to move my archers a little closer, I think. Step up, step up, step up. Alright, a lot of cavalry coming in. Get absolute fucking one tap. I'm telling you guys, Avalanche 2.0, it hits different. It'll hit you from a mile away. Get the fuck out of here. Alright, hold up. Let's alright, we gotta we gotta help these guys. Gotta help our front line here. Get the fuck out of here. Huh? Who's the real king here? Where's Ragavan's ass at, huh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One by one. They all come crumbling down, huh? Get the fuck out of here, line breaker. I'll break you. Come on, boys. Fuck, Athanus' troops are getting wrecked. I'm not even gonna lie. Come on. Hold. Hold firm, boys. Hold firm. Alright, let's, let's retreat back to our Fions. We got this. We got this. I believe. I believe! Okay. Fions are eaten. Get the fuck out of here. Tell our boys to just charge in. Come on. Come on, baby. Beautiful. Beautiful. They're running! Fuck yeah! Everyone, fucking charge these scrubs. Get out of here. Oh, fuck. Come on. I want I want to kill with this. Damn it. Ugh! Hit somebody! Ugh! Hey! Oh, only 42 damage? Alright, I swear, this thing does way more damage than that normally. Okay, that was a very bloody fight, but we did win. Okay, well, let me... Oh, I probably should have been shooting with my bow earlier. Because we might actually have to fight these guys again, I think. I don't think and we killed enough of them. Enough of them routed that we're going to have to fight a wave too. Holy shit, what a battle. What a battle. Yeah, Aphanus' dudes got absolutely wiped. They got absolutely wiped. What? Is the Drusinic champion still up? Who the fuck is... Oh, he's dead. Are we done? There's more of them. Where are they at? Okay, we only lost 40 from our party, though. That's not bad at all. It was a Fainus that got fucking slaughtered. Oh, wait. Alishka was, uh... No! Alishka was set on Engineer, wasn't she? Damn it. She didn't get any of the XP for that. That would have been a ton of XP for her. Oh, there it goes. Beautiful. Good fucking work. So yeah, Aphanus got hit hard. 62 influence, 42 renown for that? Jesus. Svenolf with 35, that's pretty decent. That puts us over 300 two-handed. Good shit. Beautiful. Alishka got a decent amount there. Nice, nice. What did we lose a lot of? Mainly our infantry. Mainly our infantry. That's fine. That's fine. Hopefully these guys had some prisoners that we can loot off of them. Actually, probably not. They just came out of a castle. But this castle that we're sieging does have a shit ton of prisoners that we'll be able to restock with, and we should be able to give to all of our all of our lords. Okay. 49 left. We're gonna finish them off. And then hopefully our other boys will get here pretty soon. And while we're waiting for the siege to finish, um our troops will continue to heal up. So I'm not too concerned. I'm not too concerned. Not gonna lie, kinda slim pickings as to what we have left, but uh, that's fine. Everybody follow me. Let's go ahead and Pull up over here. I think we're just going to have our cavalry charge. Because they basically just have some archers left. That's about it. Oh, whoops. No. Charge. Them down. Bows. Move. Give each other room. Yeah. Come on. Like right, right about Forward. here. Should be good. There we go. Let me try to take out their bannermen right away. Oh, hello. Jesus. Ooh. Ooh. Beautiful. Break their line. Break their line. Let's go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Who wants it? Everybody's getting it. Nice, nice, nice. It looked like they had some Batanian Fions in there, maybe? At least one, I thought. Yeah, look, they got one of them in there. 
Nice. Oh my god, just wrecking havoc on him. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Come on. Come on. Beautiful. Yeah, I can absolutely shit on. Oh my god, they're getting shot down before I even get a chance to hit them. Right, here we go. Beautiful. Should be about done. Awesome. Didn't lose anybody that one. Perfect. Oh my god, did we just get double? Did we just get another double, like, influence on that? Or, renown and influence? Did we just get 80 renown? I mean, it's kind of deserved. We declare that we're, uh... Our own kingdom, and then immediately take out the king of our old kingdom. Okay, no, we didn't get double influence. I just got 63. Alright, you are my prisoner. You're my prisoner, and you are my prisoner. The shame of it. Damn right the shame of it. I'm the goddamn king. The rightful king. Alright, here's the good news. Because we had these guys just sitting here. We can recruit them. Help replenish our numbers right off the bat. Um, let's see what they got here. I'm going to give a lot of these back. Because uh, they're just going to slow us down, I think. That's a lot of good units for us to recruit over the long term. Uh, we've got a lot of guys wounded right now, though. We really want to wait for them to come back. Cool. Let's take all that. Beautiful. Fucking beautiful. Alright. Now, are the guys? They are on the way. Aphanus has four troops. <laughs> uh, Alright. Good news is, there's not much left near us. Okay, Nozan's getting close. Oops, Svai, Savannah, and... Uh, are you good? I don't think they're that good. I think we kind of welcome them to try us, but I don't think they stand a chance. Uh, okay, hold up. There's another guy coming in. Mm -hmm. We still have... Here's the thing. We still have Fion numbers, and we still have Drusinic numbers. I like our odds. Yeah, they're gonna come in now? They're thinking about it. They're really... Okay, now they're coming in. Alright, this will be another big battle, but if we take this out... I don't think they have much else big on the way. I think we're in good shape. How far away are you, Liza? Can we see? 17 hours. Okay, she's a ways away. Yeah, she's a ways away. I think we fight this, man. I think we fight this. Let me just... Oh, can I... Get a breakdown in their troop... Troop types? Real quick? Svana didn't have anything crazy that I was worried about, but... I don't know about the rest of them. Uh, Chastamir. He's got some decent units in there, but it's a big mix for the most part. I think we fight. I think we fight. And it's Nozon. He had the best units out of all of them. We gave him the best. We've already recovered some. So we're at two. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm down to run this back again. Svana, what's going on, baby? Now expect... <laughs> you rebel. Now expect the punishment due traitors. Yeah. Good try with that. Um, we'll fight to our last drop. Uh, is Bovan? Who's the last one that we could... Jesus Christ. His entire army are like the elite tier. 48 Otrox, which only good news with that is Otrox haven't been leveled up yet. But then 15 Variags. But then a bunch of recruits. Okay, never mind. His, uh, he actually doesn't have that many good units. If we allowed him to survive and train those units up, he'd be terrifying. But as of right now, he's not. Alright, here we go. Another big battle where we're outnumbered. But, um... I think we got it. Alright, shit, I wasn't even thinking, uh, Udric and Apollonia are knocked unconscious, so we're gonna have to sub in Nozon, who, uh, he's decent, he's decent enough for ranged, and then a Phanus for our infantry. I don't love it, but we have to keep Sven off on our cavalry. Um, those guys are just so much more important than the random ragtag infantry that we have left. Alright, here we go. We're just gonna post up here and wait for them to hit us. Um, Royal dismount. cavalry dismount. Warriors, arm shield, shield wall, and then uh, soldiers, form a shield wall. You guys, shield wall, wall as well. 
Forward! Kind of a bunch of horses in the way, but I think that's fine. I think that actually kind of plays to our advantage. Um, I would like Fight our archers a little bit closer so that they all actually have sight lines on the enemy. Yeah, it should be good. Okay, they're just going to charge right in. Works for me. Works for me. Yeah, it's mainly just a shit... Oh, man, he's dead already. Cool. Mainly just a shit ton of infantry again. And then a decent amount of cavalry, 36. But this is a thick enough shield wall. They should be able to stop him. Yeah, this is pretty good. That's actually a pretty good lineup here. And I think it's probably better that we have our uh, Druzinix in front of the infantry. Just because I think the regular infantry got focused down last time, and it was not pretty. Come on. Start firing, boys. Look at him. Look at him out in the open. Alright, let's start causing some havoc here. Let me see if I can wipe that that standard bear off rip. Get the fuck out of here. Any other standard bears? Is that it? Get the fuck out of here. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, these are their their archers ran that far forward? What the fuck are you doing? Alright, here we go, here we go. Anyway, so I started killing. Yes, sir! Let him know! Let him know, Svenoff. You're the only cavalry in town. Okay, good work, good work. All together, pretty good to start. What line do we want to be on? I think we need to be over here for our boys. There's so many enemies. Holy shit. Alright, get off. Svenoff, you need to come and clutch here, baby. This is going to get painful real fast otherwise. Shit. Good start. Nice. Big kills. Big double and triple kills there, I think. Fuck. I need to go where they're not looking at me. Over here. That works. That works. Get behind him. Get behind him. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Good work. Good work so far. Nice. Just walking down the line, harvesting souls. Good work. Fuck out of here. Holy shit, there's a lot of them here. Nice. Come on, keep it up, baby. We're losing a lot of guys, I know, but it's fine. It's worth it. Everybody charge. Finish him off, shoot him down. Holy, what a fight. My god. We need to go replenish some infantry, but that was sick. <laughs> Look at all the bodies. Jesus. All right, we only lost 12 there. That's 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 amazing. Oh, <gasps> we killed one of them. Svana died. Svana fucking died. Holy shit. That's one of the first deaths I think we've seen in the series. Sven off with 52 kills. Beautiful. Fucking beautiful. We lost eight of our Druzinix. It happens. It happens. Beautiful work, though. Beautiful work. Okay. We'll have Liliza show up. This siege is going to be close. I'm not going to lie. We're not going to have that many troops left. I think we still go for it, though. Because if we if we get this siege... Can I... Well, they, actually, let me see. They've got 321 prisoners. We in instantly can refill all the way up to max, and all of our companions can as well. Alright, 74 against 72. Let's go ahead and finish these guys off. And then hopefully we're chilling. Hopefully some of these guys have some prisoners, man. Maybe I should have waited a sec before rebelling. And, like, let Sturgia go to war with its enemies for a while on the Three Front War. That might have been better. That might have been better. That way they also would have had more uh, more for us. Uh, in terms of prisoners. Alright, yeah. Basically it's just Bowman at this point. <laughs> just our Fions, but that should be more than enough. They're going to charge us still? Technically they're the aggressors. Yeah, they kind of have to. Uh, we did a good job of preserving our own HP though. We haven't taken much damage. The armor that we have just makes such a big difference. Let me go see if I can have some fun with our uh, with our new cloud 
piercers. Right, I haven't been able to really show you guys these yet. I'm telling you, they're disgusting when they hit. Yep, 289 damage to a very egg. No big deal. I don't know. I haven't tried really using them on... Oh! <laughs> I was going to say, I haven't really tried using them on horseback yet. Uh, seems pretty effective. Seems fairly effective. Come on. Hawk him down. Not the horse. Now you're just making me look like a fool. Come on, avalanche. There you go. Thank you, thank you. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, they actually got a decent amount of cavalry left. I'm a little surprised. Can I hit the broadside of a barn right now? There we go. One tap of Drusenic. Love to see it. Okay, a bunch of Otrox left here. It's a shame you'd be so much better in my army. Please, join me. Join the good side. Jeez, absolutely crunching through these guys. Good work, good work. Oh, do have a Fion here? Are you running again already? Are you guys done? Alright, this is target practice time. <laughs> They're just skipping on walking past my axe. Beautiful. Is that all of them? That is indeed all of them. Beautiful. Fucking beautiful. That's a ton of influence. We should actually be able to institute a couple policies now. Um, I, I think there are some that should really help us out as the king. Alright, prisoner. Prisoner. Ah, damn it, man. None of them. None of them. Um, okay, hold on. We need to give some of these guys back. Uh, tell you what, let's do a little bit of this. And then... What the fuck was that? Oh, what? why did I give my troops away? That's not what I meant. Prisoners, thank you very much. Wait, do this. That works. Cool. Alright, level up all of them. All of them. And you. Beautiful. Hmm. I don't know if any of these are improvements for us. Ooh, lordly male shoulder guards. Could have been nice. Yeah, 20? I don't think that's an upgrade for anybody at this point. Nah. Alright. Take the loot. Oh, we're at, we're at, oh, we're at capacity right now. Shit. Uh, tell you what. Oh, hold up. That cows are just gonna slow us down. Same with the herd animals. All right, cool. Continue the siege. We're fine. Seventy-one still able to fight. One hundred and twenty-three wounded. We do have a couple lords in here. Oh wait, no, those are caravans. We have one lord here, one lord here. That in a second we will already outnumber again. Bovan escaped. That's some bullshit. Oh fuck! Is this guy gonna attack us too? I think he fucking is. Laliza, where you at? <laughs> I need you. I need you already. Oh, no, don't tell me you're going to have to leave. <sighs> They're like fucking flies. We keep on swatting them and they keep on coming back. God damn it. I think we have to leave and come back. That's annoying. We have to go. We're still going to have to face these guys down, but that's fine. We have the archers to do that. Yeah, the lake rats. Cool fucking name, buddy. We'll fight you. I don't think they have anything good. That guy has some okay units. Nothing too crazy. I don't know how good the lake rats are. Yeah, we should be fine. Okay, do not have much of an infantry line anymore, so we need to immediately have everybody Forward. pop up here very fast, very fast, and just have our Batanian Fions go to work on them. Yeah, right up here. Warriors. Fions, right here. Infantry. Get moving. Cavalry. infantry cavalry right there. They're just going to bum rush us. That's fine. 
Yeah, this one's actually gonna hurt a little bit, I think. It just, it really sucks. None of these lords have prisoners for us to pick up after we take them out. Holy shit. Okay, they're coming in hot. Where's my infantry at? Oh my god, my infantry looks like shit. This is actually gonna suck, I think. I think this might hurt a lot. Alright, I'm just gonna have my cavalry charge around and hope for the best. This is... This is gonna be bloody. No, no way around it. This is gonna be bloody. I mean, it's fine because we're going back to pick up more troops anyways. We'll come back with a, another large army. Holy shit. Okay, wiped out their banner men. Alright. Oh boy, this is... Oh no, this is tough. Shit. We're actually kind of getting hurt a little bit. Okay, the Fion champions are going to town on them. Fuck yeah. Make them pay. Who are you? Guy looks good. Who is this? Is this a lord? No, it's a very egg veteran? Holy shit. Okay. Look at him run. Actually went pretty well. Dude, Batanian Fions are actually beasts in uh, close-up combat. How are you not dead? How dare you tank two arrow shots for me and live to tell the tale. There you go. Beautiful. Nice headshot. Another one. Oh, I just barely missed. Alright, good work, good work. Well, I lost four Batanian Fions and all that. I don't know how. That's actually pretty crazy. Good stuff. I'm guessing we're still gonna have to finish the rest of them off, though. Alright, there's only 20 of them. Let me just quick uh, wipe them out and then we'll get out of here. Alright, and it's all done. Beautiful. Didn't take any casualties, right? Uh, one wounded. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Good stuff. Oh! It's a little unfortunate that we didn't get a castle. I was, uh... I mean, I wasn't expecting it going into it, but then when I saw how weak it was, I saw all the prisoners, I just got a little excited and thought we could maybe do it. But, we have so many prisoners at this point. Um... Yeah, holy shit, let's, let's check this out. What do we have? Oh my god, we've got, we got seven of them! Including the king himself! This is a very good start to the war, don't get me wrong. Um... And our boys, a lot of them are just wounded. It's not even... We lost, what, 40? That's not that bad. We only lost 40 of our own troops. Um, we just need to heal up a little bit, and then we'll be right back. Um, heal up, and then also probably give some new troops. Or some new... Uh, yeah, some new troops to our allies. Alright, can we make it to here before he catches us? Oh, that was Cranorog Castle. That is still owned by, uh, by Ragavan, though. Do we have to run? Hold up, buddy. Yeah, I don't know if this is the best move for you. Oh, fuck me. I'm, I am gonna have to fight these guys. <laughs> We're gonna have half of Sturgia held captive in the first encounter. Oh, uh, my plan was to have the three nations that they're at war with do this for me. Instead, we're doing all the work for them, and then they're gonna come in and take all the castles, probably. I don't know. Either way, it will weaken them. Like... Who are you? Zeneva? I've never seen you before in my life. <laughs> Was that three more lords I saw off in the distance? <laughs> oh, man, when I said it was going to be spent off against the Kingdom of Sturgia, I really didn't mean it literally. I thought we were going to play it smart, we are going to tactically attack in the right times, in the right positions, pick off key, lor key lords. No, no, we're just actually going 1v, you know, 100. And sort of winning, as crazy as it is to say. We're kind of, kind of pulling it off. Soldiers, make the field move out. Warriors, fall, raise your souls. Move, make a shield wall. All right, fucking good luck us. I don't. It's gonna be more bloody combat. Oh well, it is what it is. So anyway, Calvary, just go ahead and charge in. You guys are all dead, guaranteed. To a man, you're all fucked. 
What do we got here? Ow. I was real happy with how we were kind of keeping our uh, HP high. Oh, nice. The fucking uh, cavalry just actually distracted a bunch of them. They turned around and got shot in the back. Okay, hold up. We need to get off because they're about to hit our Titanium Fions. Shoot them, boys. Point blank range. Let's go. Let's go. Who wants it, huh? Okay, that didn't work. Nice. Look at him run. Look at him run. All right, step back. Start shooting their archers now. Get out of here, very egg. Beautiful. Look at him run. I'm going to get shot in the fucking back. Ooh, nice lance. Get out of here. Good. A couple heavy spearmen down. I think we're pretty much done. Good work. Are they are they not like full retreating yet? What are they doing? I would have thought they were done by now. Ooh, I thought that was gonna be a headshot. It looked good. I guess I don't need a headshot when my uh, Theons can do it for me. Beautiful. Ooh, sorry, Jusenic. My bad. My B. We only got two left. Come on. We only lost... Okay, we lost ten as a total, but our party only lost one. Beautiful. Very good. Nice. That was our best one so far. Dude, the Fion champions are no joke. They're so good, actually. Though they have single-handedly won us at least like two or three of those battles. When it was looking like all was Are you shitting me? You're gonna make me fight the last four of them? Just send troops in. Okay, thank you. My goodness. <laughs> Alright, you are my prisoner, and you are my prisoner. Thank you, and thank you. Alright. Boom. Boom. We are now up to nine lords actively held captive right now. Jesus. Actually, we're kind of weighed down. We shouldn't be holding a bunch of useless shit, should we? Uh, cows, sheep, out of here. Let me just go down. Let's get a bunch of this stuff out of here. I don't know how much this weighs. Actually, this stuff might not be what's weighing us down. What's weighing us down? Oh, hold up. We probably have a shit ton of grain, don't we? Ah, 314. Yeah, I guess that's a decent amount. We'll give away... What does that bring us down to? Eh, good enough. Cool. Very cool, very cool. Anyone else? Looks, oh my god, it's more of these... F <laughs> it's more mercenaries. More, oh my god, there's five more mercenary groups here. Liliza, join us, quick. Before they hit us. Alright, they're, they're not going to be willing to attack us with Liliza, I don't think, right? Nah, no way. No shot. Okay, they do have a hundred here, though. Interesting. Alright. What does Uthalem have? Can we... Sp oh, they've only got 151 there! Holy... Okay, both of these castles are very takeable. I don't know if we're gonna be able to take them this episode, but in the near future, we should be able to. Otherwise, another faction will. Are they actually gonna attack us? Really? That is interesting. I would have thought we had enough. Alright. I guess they do slightly outnumber us, but... Not in terms of actual, uh, quality. Okay, we finally have all of our commanders back, so... Apollonia. We're gonna actually go ahead and have Svenoff lead them. And then for cavalry... A Nozon, maybe? Yeah, we'll have Nozon. Just because we have so many infantry here. Uh, so they're gonna charge us, right? Yeah, they're gonna charge us. Let's, uh, let's back it up. Right here, right here. Good, good. Alright, uh, infantry. Gunforge shield wall. 
I kind of like what our Drusenics have been doing. Um, like, we don't have enough of them to form a, a good shield wall, but they're good at harassing the enemy and getting them to turn around and just go straight into the open arms of our uh, Fions. Actually, hold Soldiers! up. I don't, our Fions are kind of on a slope there. I don't like that. Move out! You guys move up. Horses, Horses just get ready to charge in in a sec once they get here. Hmm. Kind of want them forward even just a little bit more. Alright, most of them have eyes now. That's good. Okay, infantry, I don't think you need to be that far forward. Okay, here they come. Here they come. Oh, wait, hold up. They're not charging? Will they, won't they? Come on. Figure it out. Oh, Jesus! Look at... Oh my god, that is so many cavalry. What? What is this? Where did this fucking army come from? Holy shit. What? Huh? Which of these guys had that many... I mean, I knew the fucking Gilman guys, but why are there a bunch of elite cataphracts? And banner knights? Landing banner knights? What is happening? Get the fuck out of here. Where's their... Okay, their guy's over here. Okay. Alright, I'm joining you guys over here on this side. Good luck. Sturgeon on Sturgeon violence. You hate to see it? Actually, it's kind of fun to watch. I'm not, not even gonna lie. Oh, fuck. Dark Boy's route? Fuck your shield. Right, let's get back into their Fions. The day is lost. That's what we like to hear from our enemies. Hey, how you doing, champ? Oh, come on. 78? Bro, let me just hit someone full speed with it. 70, or no, 47. Dude, I swear this used to do way more damage. What is happening? There we go. That's a little more like it. Alright, we barely lost anybody. Our allies did lose a lot. Which makes sense. Liza did join us, but she was using an entire army of recruits. Right, you guys can go ahead and move up, get closer to them. Continue shooting them. Are they going to pay attention to me, or can I just... Oh, okay, now you're going to pay attention to me. You're dead now, though. Nice. Beautiful. No. Pull out avalanche. No. Hit. Hit with avalanche. Thank you. Thank you. Fuck your banner holder. Go ahead and charge, boys. Alright, that was another good dub. Liliza's group took some uh, took some casualties, but that's fine. We can restock her. We can restock all of our boys at our uh, at our castle. I'm not too concerned about that. Wait, they actually have a decent amount of troops left. Where? How? Is it just stragglers, or do they actually have cavalry up still? Oh, they've got. No, wait, what? Wow, those guys took the long way to try to retreat from this battle. Holy shit! Bada boop. Bada. Oh, hey. Out of the way. No, stop. Cock blocking me. Come on. There we go. Alright, we got a couple of them. Beautiful. Good work. Please tell me I don't have to do that again. I think we're gonna have to. I, I, I swear Bannerlord didn't used to do this. Especially the one where they made us fight. There were four enemies that retreated. And they made us fight them. That's, that's so dumb. Alright. Here we go. And there we go. That's another... One, two, three, four, and, uh, okay, four. Four, four more prisoners, not bad. We'll take it. <laughs> uh, looters? Oh, Jesus, are we, 
Are we going to stoop that low? Are we recruiting looters at this point? I guess so. I guess so. Um, anything crazy here? Nah, fuck it. We don't, we're not really worried about money. Yes, I'm leaving hard-earned loot behind. I understand. All right, here we go. Continue rest of the way back to Karabanzeth. I still can't believe just how many lords we've captured. All right, another one has escaped. I, I really want to get them back to our uh, our prison. That way, that we don't have to worry about them escaping as much. All right, let's go ahead and break this up. Disband. No, wait. Uh, let me think. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, we're right here. Now we can disband the army. Right? And we tell all of them to come back to Kerbanseth, I think, is the move. I want to give them troops, is the thing. How can I tell them to come back in? I don't even know how to do that. Disband party. Yeah. Okay. Should go in here and drop off their troops, I think, right? Let me just double check that. 41. We have 220 in the garrison here. Alright, let me see what they do. Did he drop him off? I'm not sure. What is he doing? Is he waiting here? What's happening? Where did, uh... Oh no, he's just chilling there. He's not actually disbanding. Or maybe it just takes a while? Maybe it just takes a while for him to disband, I guess. Hmm. Interesting. Denord's party? Who is this? Okay, that's Nozan's party, and it's actively... Okay. Alright, let's drop off all these prisoners here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do, uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... 12, and I think two of them have escaped. Yeah, I think two of them escaped in the meantime. Um, so what, actually, let me, hold up, let's get all this. Drop all you guys off. Boom. And then give me all of you, because we're just going to sell off the regular troops. I don't want to risk us being over prisoner capacity and having all these guys escape. Not doing that. Alright, so we'll do that. We're temporarily over our limit. That's fine. Go to Tavern District. Select which ones. I think we're just going to do everybody but the Fionn Champions. Otherwise, it's just slowing us down. Highwaymen? I guess I'll recruit you. Need all the bodies we can get right now. Beautiful. 16k. Not bad. Not bad at all. Sisterhood followers, we'll buy you. <laughs> at this point, we're looking for anybody. Anyone who's willing to join us. Are you guys any good? Not really. Okay, you're definitely going to just be people that we throw to our uh, our boys. All right. Um, That sounded wrong. I mean, we're, those are just going to be people we give to, like, Liliza's party. <laughs> all right. Let's go to the keep. Manage garrison. Drop off the scrubs uh we need to we need to replenish our infantry pretty bad we'll get a few more of the Drusini champions but then all the rest of them and then i believe we have yep some very ag veterans next time we're in sturgia we might have to just pick up start picking up some sturgian recruits now i'm thinking about it yeah we might have to. I don't, I don't like our options right now. Hmm. One seventy-two. The brigands. I guess that'll have to do, huh? I just I don't want to have to recruit. I don't want to have to recruit Batanians. Okay. Whatever. Good enough for the time being. Let's head back over here and... Fuck, see, someone else is besieging Uthalam. Kind of thought that would happen. Um, Nozan, you are not disbanding at all, buddy. That's not what I asked you to do at all. 
don't disband. Just, I don't know, keep doing what you're doing, I guess. The rest of them are getting recruits. Do we start another siege? Maybe we just go ahead and start another siege for the time being. Um. Ooh, nice. Riding upgrade. Uh, yes, this one. Half the party speed penalty for herding. Love that. And then... I think... Let's put her on Surgeon for the time being. I, I kept us on it during those fights. Just because it, it was getting a little dicey. And it was so important that we um, maintain what troop numbers we have. But now, she's getting a bunch of medicine just from training up. Um, from all the troops that are healing up currently. Okay. What's this guy doing? Don't let him in there. I kind of want to scout out what's happening over here. What are we... What is going on over here? Oh, shit. They're stomping this castle. Eminon's army's massive. Once again, only 211 in the garrison here. We're going to get in before any of these lords can. Fuck it. I mean, I think we just besiege him again. I know they're not happy with it, but there's not really much these particular guys can do. Okay. Our troops are still healing up. Are they going to try to fight us? All these guys combined? Okay, with Sylvan, they might think about it. Hmm. Hmm. Let's be patient. Let's be patient. Wait. I just, I don't want to keep on getting into fights with all these guys. We're doing the work for all of uh, the other factions, and then they're just benefiting by taking the castles that are free. I don't like it. Um, all right. Nozon, just create another party. Alright, give me a sec. We're gonna run around a little bit. Wait for our uh, our, our boys to uh, get decent sized armies again. Then we'll come back in. Alright, juicy little love love for us there. Um, I, I found this lord, he was kind of off by himself and he had a decent amount of troops. So I just decided to take him out because I think we can do it without taking very many casualties. These guys are... Like, running for the literal fucking hills. What is... What are they doing? Alright, uh... Just have everybody come on over here. Beautiful. They're just gonna be sitting ducks for us. We'll take it. Nice. That's 175 bow. That's the new perk. Well, these javelins are kind of coming in hot. I, uh, well, I will say, you know what? Them taking that mountain... Actually means our, uh, our Druzinic numbers won't be able to demolish them like normal. That maybe is a smart idea. Soldiers! Get moving! Right here. Face that way! And face them. Did I not tell my infantry to come in? Oh no, there they are. Beautiful. Oh, oh, beautiful. That's the kill feed I like to see. Nice. Okay, yep, yeah, they're they're gonna be forced to charge in, huh? Ooh, nice little timing on that shot there. Fuck out of here, Druzinic. There we go, just wreck havoc. Wreck havoc amongst their line. Poked by a bunch of spearmen. Don't like that. Nice. Beautiful work so far, lads. Actually, it's done. Okay. Not even just so far. All together. <laughs> that guy got shot about ten times. Took like two throwing axes to the face and a spear. And finally went down. There we go. Zero casualties. And wiped out another army of 110. Beautiful. Beautiful. See, if we can pick those guys off a lot, that's actually worth doing. It's annoying for me because it takes a lot of time, but in terms of us having an overall effective command, 
or uh, campaign. It's definitely worth it. Holy, we're at 393 influence already? What the hell? I didn't know we had that many. God damn. Okay. All right. Don't mind that at all. Don't mind that at all. All right. Um. Oh, did I not? I didn't sell off my loot when I was back in Caravan, Seth. We're close to Sionin right now. I guess we could turn back. Yeah, once again, money, not a concern for us. Not a concern for us. You need to just stop thinking about that. I... Alright. So, Mimir actually has called forth an army. Is he gonna... He might try to take Uthalem. Which, if he does, that might be the perfect time for us to come in and try to take Kranarog. Or, wait for him to be done... And then we come in and attack Uthalame. Also, who's this? Osvin? Didn't we already take you out? I'm pretty sure we already took this guy out. And he escaped, maybe. Maybe. I could be wrong. Who are you? Are you good? No, he's got a bunch of fresh recruits. See, these are the guys we need to take out. Help Seordis. I actually don't care at all about the village itself. But I do care about taking out rivals. Alright, here we go. Little village defense time. Come on! <laughs> How are we not hitting anybody with that? There we go. Jesus, I was gonna say, man. That was the worst luck. Alright, here we go. Oh yeah, this is just a slaughter. She had... I, I think this person had just escaped from us because their troops are all recruits. Literally all of them. I mean, this is... That's just embarrassing to even put together an army like this. I guess they were probably trying to train their troops up by raiding this poor village, which, I'll point out, belonged to Sturgia, like, a couple days ago in-game. And they're like, oh, technically it's our enemies now. <laughs> Even though Mimir actively has an army trying to retake it. Beautiful. Oh, they love us here now. You're welcome, boys. I was definitely doing this out of the, uh... Generosity and kindness in my heart. Beautiful. Yeah, damn, we have so much influence now. We could, wait. We actually, we already have enough influence. We could promote one of our heroes to become a lord. Is that worth it? What would be the advantage of that? I'm not actually sure what the advantage of that would be. Uh, yep, you are definitely my prisoner. Again, Osven. I, I'm pretty sure we captured him already, but I could be wrong. Could be getting the names uh, mixed up. Beautiful. No losses. Once again. Don't need the loot. Yeah, 467. That's not even that good of an army. Pretty uh, pretty mid, to be honest. Um, How are our boys looking? I think let's call these two. They both got 80. That's plenty. We're going to get over here. Uh, we're going to tell... At this point, we've got most of our wounded recovered. Alishka's already gaining medicine. I already gave her the first perk. We need to remember for ourselves, though. Oh, nice. 200 riding. And we leveled up. Um, okay. Annoying buzz. You cause 20% more mor uh, morale penalty with ranged kills while mounted. Same thing. We don't really have mounted ranged units. Um, thunderous charge. You cause 20% more mor battle morale penalty with melee kills. And same thing with ours. That could be big. Especially since we've been leading our Drazenic champions. That could be very nice. Okay, what about the bow one? What do we have here? Eagle Eye. Zoom in 50% more with bows. Increase your seeing range in the campaign map by 10%. Ooh, that's pretty nice. Uh, skirmish Phase Master. Take 10% less damage from projectiles. Ooh. Bow equipped troops in your formation take 5%. Oh, wait, bow equipped. We don't lead any bow uh, formations. Hmm. I mean, I guess technically for sieges we might. That, it's not awful. <sighs> Damn, these are both very good. I really like the idea of Eagle Eye. That sounds sick. Let's try Eagle Eye. Let's try Eagle Eye and we'll see. Um, we have one more focus point. I think let's throw it into riding. We're already nearing the cap again. What are these? Are these good? 
Oh, look at this. Prisoners in your party are 50% less likely to escape. Holy shit. Yes. We definitely want that. Oh, that'd be so nice. <laughs> that would be so nice to have. Okay, here we go. Um, let's switch Alishka back over to Engineer. Besiege Castle. How far away are these guys again? Okay, they're coming in. Ah, uh, no! Caladog, no! Why? Hold up. Can I just peace out immediately? I'll give you what you want. I can't perform this action while in a siege. Oh, fuck. Caladog, man. I'm willing to just pay him 2k to not have to worry about this. Alright. We just started the siege anyways. Let's leave. Come here. We're just gonna pay them off. We're gonna give them what they want right away. Yep, there you go. Take your 2k a day. We'll pay that. We'll pay that. We'll pay that. We'll pay that. It's fine. I'm um, starting to see the numbers start to close in on us here. I don't love that. Tell you what. Let me hunt down a few of these lords. Kind of knock their numbers down a bit so that they're not willing to attack us straight up. And while we're doing so, that'll give Athanus and Liliza time to get to us. Yeah, I think that's the move. Alright, we just murked a pretty decent group of them. Yeah, 117. Not bad, didn't take a single casualty. And there's... I would say that's probably about 30 to 40% of the guys that were chasing us. And there's one more group after this that we have to fight. And then we should have them cleared up. And we should be able to go back in for the siege. So there we go, another two prisoners... Thank you very much. Freaking forest people. I, why did the... Why did the Kingdom of Sturgey have to have so many damn... Uh, so many mercenary groups hired when this war was started. Ugh. Banner of the Iron Shields. Absolute trash. Alright. Yeah, okay. So still like 270 maybe? 280 left? Okay. I mean, we can fight them right now. Uh, we're probably going to have to. I think they're that much faster than us. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. What? Was that a marriage proposal? What was that? <laughs> did you just say... Did you just say I heard you beat Lady S Savannah in battle? Yeah, I fucking killed Lady Savannah in battle. Then just beat her. Absolutely smoked her. Oh, shit! Vashorky! Oh, this is one of the clan leaders. Okay, hold up. Is he good? Uh, yeah, not, I mean, he's okay. Nothing too, too crazy here. This will be a tougher battle. If we can capture him, we can start thinking about potentially uh, trying to convince him to join us. And then Sylvan here. She's got some decent units. Okay, this is going to be a lot tougher battle. What was this? Yep, and keep on trying to marry Alishka. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Alright, here we go. They, uh... <laughs> they got numbers. I'll give them that much. Alright. I think it's worth charging our cavalry in. Just because they will disrupt their line a bit. Hopefully quite a bit. Oh, shit. I'm cock-blocking a whole bunch of our guys. Get in there, lads. We need you to make a mark right now. Beautiful. We just need to slow down how long it takes them. Damn it, I was really going for the uh, banner guy there. Here, we're going to go back in for seconds. Oh, come on. Oh, not his buddy. Kill him. There we go, thank you. Alright, they're not getting whatever buff that was anymore. Okay, some of them are getting a little distracted. It's buying us a little bit of time. The champions are going off, both Druzinix and Fionn's. Oh, shield breaker, or line breaker. Nice. Okay. Caused a lot of damage here, but they're about to hit us. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Back up. Faster. Alright, never mind. Charge. <laughs> we just gotta go. 
Uh, all right, game time, baby. Game time. Let's go. The fuck off my men. Get out of here. Shit. Okay. Seems, seems like that went pretty well, huh? Okay, my bad. <laughs> Definitely gonna shoot one of our boys if I try this. Alright. Hey, there we go. Good shit. Good fucking shit. We only lost 14? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That was a great win. That was a great fucking win. Oh my god. Alright, surely some of these guys had some prisoners, right? Surely. That's another one. That's another two. That's another three. Beautiful, and of course, no prisoners. Love it. Love it. Alright, we'll recruit you. Replenish our numbers a little bit. We're only down 12. That's not bad at all. It's not bad at all. Okay. We got our people coming in now. How far away are they? Oh, wait, is this? Hey, Venus is almost here. Perfect. Oh, that's great timing. That is great timing. What about Liza's moving? Okay. How is, um, how's Nozan looking? Yeah, okay. We give him some time. Give him some time. What do we got here? Untherik? Right, I'm not worried about either of you guys. No shot you're trying to fight. Okay, now they're stuck inside. That's actually fine. Okay. Lake rat nearby. Once again, barely any. Um, tell you what, until we actually start building the siege equipment, I think... I think we're better off leaving uh, Alishka on Medic. Fucking hell, bro. Where do they... I don't understand. Where do they get this many people from, huh? What is this? I mean, they're, they're trash. All of them are trash, but... And actually, we've got 222. I mean, are they really going to try us here? Are they really actually going to try us? Do I try to pick a fight with them before the 130 rolls up? Maybe that's the move. Oh, no, they're not willing to fight us. Okay, and they're running away. Beautiful. Ah, oh, Vishorky just escaped. God damn it. Who is this? Vilder now. He doesn't have much either, but the numbers are starting to get kind of high around us. Why do I feel like this is going to be a repeat of last time? Do I want Liza to join in on this? I don't think so. I think that would just cause a lot of her new troops to get taken out. And we want the numbers for the actual siege. Oh, they're scared now. No, 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 Liza, don't go for that. Don't go for that. Don't go for that. Liza, what are you what are you doing? No. <sighs> You're just gonna get beat. Come back to us. What are you doing? No. Yes, come back. Join the army. Join the army. Join the army, Liza! What are you do She's- They're running from you, you're running from them. What are you- What are you doing? Just join. Thank Christ. Oh my god. <laughs> I was gonna- I was gonna lose my shit. Alright, we should be able to finish this off. I'm debating as to whether we go in- Do we just go in right now? Our troops are way better than theirs. So how much of an advantage would it really be to get like a siege tower per se? Maybe one siege tower, that's all we need. Maybe one would be good. Alright girl, it's time. One siege tower, how, much, how long is this going to take? Not too long, okay. 
And that train's up around. Oh, nearing. Alright, if we see them start moving for us... We immediately just go in for the assault. Immediately. Oh, wait. Oh, I almost forgot. We need, uh... Ba, ba, ba. Where's it at? Our beauty. Where's it at? Where's Skyfall? There it is. There she is. Nice. Yeah, we'll take that. Alright. Keep it going. Come on, fingers crossed. Oh, there's a big... A big army walking around. We oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, what is this? Are they gonna... I think they're gonna attack us here. Fuck, we have to go in. Oh... That's alright. Okay, you know what? We're fine. We are okay. Because even if we take some losses here, we can replenish it with all the troops we're about to get. This is fine. This is fine. I think. I hope. <laughs> oh, come on, baby. Let's just win this. So I can end off this episode on a high. I just really didn't want to end this episode off unless we had, we had struck and, you know, got first blood. Taken the first castle from him. Okay, this is a pretty, uh... This is a pretty well-defended castle. Holy fuck, these are some tall walls. Um. Alright. I don't love that. <laughs> I don't love that. Um. I think we just have our infantry stay back, to be honest. Have the infantry stay back? Have the archers just kind of go to work? I think that's the move. Alright, hopefully... Tell you what, infantry fucking... Spread out. I don't want anybody... Getting picked off... By their mangonels for, for free. Okay, some of their boys fell off already. That's a mistake and a half. Hello, gentlemen. It's nice of you all to meet here this evening. Oh wait, what am I doing? I'm not used to using this sword on horseback. Hello! Come on. There it goes. Ugh, okay. I took out a few of our Fions there. Alright, wait, are our guys just charging in? I don't want you guys charging in. I want you just sitting here shooting them down. These are some very tall walls. Fuck, man. I did not think it was going to be like this. Soldiers! That's all cut them down! Alright, let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do here. They got a few boys. Fuck, our boys are pu pushing us in. Alright, we just need to get in here. Come on. Get by. Block, block, block. Get to the side. Get in. Just get in. Get in. We can go to work from here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Here we go. Clear the way. Let, let our boys in. Get him off me. Get him off me. Fuck off. Jesus. I cannot see shit. Where are our infantry? Are they still making their way here? getting shot by. I have no idea what's happening right now. I was thinking about bringing Avalanche, but I think it's good I didn't. As much as it would be nice to get double kills, I don't think we have the range to really swing it. Who am I getting shot? Oh my god, they have archers for days over there. What in the fuck? Holy shit, what is that? Alright, I need to get, like, inside somewhere. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have rushed straight into the enemies. <laughs> it's not- This is a well-designed castle. There are not a lot of safe spots once you enter it. And they have just rows of archers firing at us. Luckily, our infantry are way more elite than theirs. So we're cleaning up in this fight. Just, I hate all those archers, man. Can I 
sneak over here. They're still shooting at me, I think, though. What? Are you kidding me? I hit that skinny-ass post. Okay. Alright, there's not that many arches. A lot of them are retreating already, it looks like. We might already have this one. I can't tell if they're, like, retreating, retreating, or if they're just going to get a better, uh, like, secondary defense line. It'd be pretty cool if the AI did that. I don't know if it does, though. Suppose I could try to get in over here. Let's try over here. Alright, we're losing a few boys, but once again, it's all worth it if we can take the castle. All's worth it. Alright, I'm seeing a few of our boys actually make it deep already. Cool. I think we have this. Little dicey going in without any siege equipment, but I think it'll pay off. Is that you that shot me? No, oh, you're a fucking Otrok. You didn't shoot me. Boys, where are we going? What are we doing? Oh, hello. Okay. Couple very act veterans done. There's still there's still a lot of enemies. We're not done by any means yet, actually. Good. Oh, <laughs> all these poor archers don't stand a chance. Get out of here. Out of the way. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. Fuck out of here. Oh, here we go. Here's where the archer's been hiding. Yeah. Oh, you think I, I didn't remember? All you earlier shooting me as soon as I got up on the ramparts? Shut all fucking remembers. Where are the rest of these scrubs at? Send our archers in. Whoa! Jesus Christ! I thought those were our troops. Where the fuck did you all come from? Spent all this just ragdolling these fools. Call me daddy. You know what it is. Absolutely sunning them. Oop, hello. Yeah, these poor guys did not get the memo that everyone else was retreating. So they ended up just retreating straight into us. Let's go. Let's go, baby. That's a good siege. How many did we lose? We only lost eight. Oh, that's fine. Oh, that is fantastic, actually. Fuck yeah. Couple Drusinic champions, some heavy spearmen. That's not bad at all. I thought we lost way more. We did lose a lot of Batanian uh, Fions, but that was mainly to the uh, catapults, I think. Let's go. Good shit. Very good shit. Alright, please tell me there are all kinds of prisoners for us to recruit. There were 300. Oh, let's go, baby. Holy. Are you kidding me? <laughs> 15 Fion champions? What even is this? Oh my god. That is insane. Alright. We're taking all of them. Obviously, we can't hold all of them. But temporarily, they're going to be in our party. Um, yeah, fuck the rest of those. Not worried about that. Yeah, temporarily. Okay. Ooh, Steel Banner. Nice. I mean, we already have that, but that's a pretty good one. We'll take that. The rest of this, we don't really care so much about. Whatever, we'll take the loot. Okay, show mercy. We're gonna take it. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, the new owner is me. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who else it would be. Okay. <sighs> Do we just drop them all off in the garrison here? I think so. I think we drop most of them off, and then we're gonna top off our boys that are with us. All right. Jesus. Oh my God. That's insane. 
That's so good. Uh, fuck, we still have too many. Palatine Guard. Jesus, man. Uh, wait, hold on. Give me those back. Give me that back. Who am I going to have to give up? Some Fions, I guess? Yeah, we've got too many, I suppose. And then... Wait, are we going to have to put the very eggs away, I suppose? One of you? Holy shit. <laughs> Alright, the garrison's already beefed up to 321. Yeah, good luck taking that. Good fucking luck taking that. Let's go, man. Fuck, God, I'm so happy. Such a good, such a good victory there. Um, tell you what, let me take out like 40, maybe even like 50 of these guys. And we're just going to give them to our companions. So, yeah, let's get up to like, that's fine. Over the troop limit. Donate troops. I'm going to give you... Oh, you can't actually hold that many. Alright, capped out. There you go, champ. And then I'm going to give you some. How many can you hold? You can hold a decent amount. Beautiful. Getting more influence. And then we'll drop the remainders off. Yeah, wonderful. That's so sick. What a what a great fucking battle. I'm so glad we, we had that. Alright. We are going to go ahead and wrap this episode off here. This is a very successful start to our kingdom. Um, I think Sturgia is kind of struggling right now. They're getting pushed back. They I don't know if they started with Mechalovia Castle, but they just lost Uthalame. To the Empire, they lost Cranorog for us. And I feel like just going town to town right now. That's how that's how good I feel. They're about to lose Mazadan to somebody else. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling strong. Next episode, we're hopefully just gonna keep pushing it. Keep taking if we could take like if we could go like take this peninsula, that'd be pretty huge. I'm not saying we can do that one episode, but if that would be our next move, that'd be pretty nice. You should especially go for Varchag, since that's something that Ragavad holds. But anyways, as always, leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you're thinking about this series and all the rest of the series that... I don't know why I keep saying that. We don't actively have going on. It's only this one. But until next time, as always, take it easy.